Today, people across the country headed outside for a glimpse of that rare solar eclipse. Of course, we weren't in the path of totality, but it still made for an exciting viewing this afternoon. It sure did. And WPTV's education reporter Stephanie Suskind visited one Palm Beach County school to see how the event brought their learning to life. So happy solar eclipse day. Annalise Wellman was bursting with pride to share the solar eclipse with her eighth grade science students at Okahili Middle School. The fact that we get to see a celestial phenomenon that is not visible for years at a time and it lines up perfectly with what's going on with uh, studies, I think that's pretty awesome. Let's be safe, let's not be sorry. After some safety rules. To see a solar eclipse, you must be wearing these. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was time to head outside. Let's go, come on. To witness the rare moment when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. Talk about real world, world applications. This is like perfect. Students enjoyed the opportunity to take learning outside their classroom with glasses on and an eye to the sky. It's a cool experience because I like I didn't know that we we're going to go see it in school. While we can't show you exactly what the solar eclipse looked like here because, well, it would damage our camera lens, I can tell you through my glasses I saw about a crescent to half moon shape. Basically a big, like, circle just covering the sun. I got my friends here and we like sharing the experience together, so it was pretty fun. Does anybody, do you want one? Wellman hopes this encourages some future scientists to see the bigger picture. Seeing that the sun can be covered by an object in space is eye-opening, definitely, and that's important to stay curious about that. Stephanie Suskind, WPTV, News Channel 5.